everybody. Welcome to Stacks and Amazing. I'm Dominic Daniels. i by Miles Jackson. Chris Bacon in the restaurant. Excuse me, the blocker. We're getting the blocker three access to as the Cape Canaveral Conference champions, the Boston Red Raiders, come in and they take on, of course, the Lady Boxers. I think it's going to be a better game than uh, people think. Uh, yeah, I think it's going to be a real good game. Uh, last game of the season for the boxers, obviously. Didn't make the tournament this year, but that's okay. Um, I really like the chances to against uh, Boxable. Yeah, and I think the um, Lady Boxers um, hopefully have a good game. It's senior night. They honored the uh, senior um, Lady Boxers just before we came on the air, and so hopefully the seniors will step up and uh, come out of here shining. Absolutely. I love the pictures. I've never, I can't remember the last time I've seen anything like that. Usually it's just, you know, you know, flowers, you get your parents, and I love the pictures. I like the frames. Yeah, usually players uh, don't really care too much about flowers, but uh, it's nice to see a picture. It's a little momentum to take home. Yeah. You can show your kids someday. It's a nice. real nice thing to get. Yeah. Absolutely. All right, so here we go. And this happy President's Day to everybody. He's got to keep out of <laughs> And there's tennis, and it looks like Funk is going to be on the tip for the Lady Red Raiders. Right. And off the glass, and in. She was expecting that. That was really classy by the Red Raiders. Yeah, it was. And then they go back the other way and they do it again. And now we're going to have a timeout. And they'll change a couple of guys out. That was really classy. Now, Don, if you explain, what was that for? You know what? I'm going to ask the AD. What was that for, the courtesy between both baskets? Oh, okay. Okay. That's awesome. That is. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. All right, that. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. All right. So that's we got, just got the explanation from the athletic director. So she was out all season, and that's her first and only basket she got a senior year. So we both went both ways, you know. The courtesy basket between two. Nice. But, classy. It was classy. That was, that was really cool. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I've seen that before. That's a nice way to start the game. I've seen it with kids with disabilities, not to sound off track here, but you know, you see, like, yeah. you know what I mean? All right, so we're on the way. Yeah. 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 on that one. The girls are up up high, won't go, rebound block. Yeah. 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 Lost the ball, gets over to her sister, Alexander. She's going to try to drive behind the back pass, it's blocked. Now. I think she should have tried to put it up and get, get the contact foul. Yeah, she got all the way there. She yeah. just didn't, uh, she passed move it up. It, move it, move it, Drop base on the rebound box. Yes. And we can have a reach on Mendez right away. Good rebound from the box or so far. Uh, last time we did a game, Miles, they did not rebound well, but uh, it's good to see that early on. Now Liz Williams, all the way to baseline at Almeida. She drives. Oh, nice move over the tall girl. Yeah, she got hit in the mouth, but nice. stayed with it. Nice yeah, beautiful move. For sure. That wasn't easy. Oh, and Williams almost picked my Mendes Buck. She did finish the play. Now she, she, she does pass over and blocked by Falk out of bounds. It'll stay blocked and ball. I think it's official you can say uh, Alexander Williams is in the mood of passing the ball early in this game. Yeah, Brockton being very aggressive early on on defense. Yes. Almeida for three. Got the hot end early. Did that work out better? Really? Am I that big of a mouth? How's that better? Oh my god. All right, so I'll turn it down more. All right, so here we go. There's uh, Birch now. That was Robinson. Now back to back to back to uh, Birch. Excuse me. Stops over to Robinson. 
far side to fuck. I knew I'm going to it. Three seconds on the shot clock. Short. Wow, three. That's short. And we will have a change of possession by the way of the shot clock. That's good defense from the boxes that didn't get anything going if you boxed it. Little floater. Uh, floater by Emerson. No go. And here comes Mendez for the Red Raiders. Initially kicked out the long, long three baseline. One throw on Red Raiders. There's Birch. Step in front. Another steal by the Lady Boxers. And Almeida. Oh, she gets the foul on the, the follow-up. There's Green. She's double team. Trying to get out of trying to get out of that mess. What's that? Turn the master down. Okay. Is that better? All right, yeah. As Miss Emma, the production and director, is happy now. I, guess I, I get a big mouth, guys. I'm sorry. Had to make a few adjustments. Yeah. Now back to live action. 5-16 in the running, left in the first quarter. 7-2 Brockton, all the way to the far baseline. And again, yeah, that's an obvious travel on Amazon, so we'll have a change of possession. She had the right move there, though. Want yeah. to take it to the basket, I like that. Now this girl is a very good ball player. Mendez for the Red Raiders. Very good. Swing! Swing! Birch, Birch got it over on the floor to Alsa. Um, she works it inside. To Fox out of blocks. William is going to try to finish. Oh, and she gets the ball. And she gets the row. Nice starting quarter for the Lady Boxers. Yeah, nice block right there. I couldn't quite see who made the block, but it was pretty, and it and it, and it produced two points. Oh, well, that's as good as the turnover, almost. Yes. Three turnovers for Barnstable, and you got a nice block there. All transition points, really, so far for the Boxers, looking real good. Yeah, looking real good. Coming in here at 7 and 10, and the um, Barnstable, the... Um, I'm not sure. Boston. Red Raiders. I Red believe. Raiders. Yes. Thank you. Coming in here, 13 and five, and I'm sure they're going for the playoffs. So they're a little bit coming at, coming in here tight. Yeah, and uh, you know, people might be thinking, oh, well, this game doesn't matter. They're in. Well, can affect seating. You don't want to play maybe a certain team in the first round, and boxers can definitely play a spoiler in uh, regards to that. Exactly. They have nothing to lose but to come in here and, and try to steal one on uh, senior night. Definitely. Actually, the seating comes out Friday, and we'll have that on four. Deep Sports Talk on Saturday. And of course, we have a normal guest. We'll have uh, Mass Effect Professional Indoor Football. Arena Football coming to our area, fellas. They'll be playing out of Fall River out of uh, Driscoll Arena. Yes. And if you like high scoring football, that's what you want to watch, I'll tell you. So Gordon checks in. Olivia Gordon checks in for the Red Raiders. Officially 4.37 left in, in this period. Swing! Swing! Swing it on Birch. The other far side driving. And lay it to very nicely. That is Orsi. I see it. Get me there! Get me there! Tennis now. Get the, get the, get the, get the. Check it out! Check it out! Check it out! baseline. That was on me to watch it for a minute. And Montero throws up a desperation shot. That was off balance. So she got that at one point. Got yeah, she threw it, she threw it up there at the right time with a Red Raider right on her. Barton, good job. That was an aggressive trap from Barnstable, too. And, uh, you know, they don't turn it over and they get a shot. Now they're going to go to the line. All right, so Montero for a couple. Uh, she goes to the charity strike. Hits the first. She's very, she's been fluent all year with her mechanics. Taking free throws. She makes it look so easy. Yeah, been very consistent all year. Yeah, she's got a good routine, takes her time. And she's only a junior. Oh, nice try by Amazon on the follow up. And now we're going to have a foul, a hold. But they're going to call it on Amazon. Her first team first. Officially 405 left in this period. Go ahead, get inside. Badger, Badger, Badger. Now Mendez covered, covered by Almeida. Gets it over to Osia. She's in trouble. Tries to feed Mendez. Mendez floated high. Off the glass. Off the glass. Off the 
as Gordine, and she'll go to charity strike, guys. Man, there's a good back cut there. You gotta move without the ball in basketball. That gets you open. That's what gets shots most of the time. And uh, she does it there. That's what makes her such a great guard. Yeah. And great position by um, Bonsable's um, Olivia Gordine, sophomore. Had good, good position inside there. Got the offensive rebound. Put it right. Well, put it up and got fouled. Yes. Puts them both. The leaders fall for the boxers. Now on the long pass. Driving Amazon. Her float off the glass won't go. Tip. And on the back, it comes Al Olsen. Her high floater. And she's fouled. And they're gonna call that, they're gonna call that on Elizabeth Williams. And OC will go to the charity strike. Bonsham will play out of the Cape and Island League that new conference after they left the OCYFL last year and brought Bridgewater, Raynham, and Dartmouth over to the big, you know, the Southeast Conference. Yeah, these teams used to play in each other? Yep. No, no, um, no, they, they were, they used to have the big three, but there's a long pass. It used to be um, just Brock and Durfee in North and New Bedford. Yes. The OCYL, OCYFL with at least part on the floor. In transition, here comes Mendes. She's going to try to finish block. Nice job by Williams. Yeah, perfect timing by Liz Williams to block that shot. Mendes over yeah, blocks the block shot. Uh, doesn't come in a foul either. Michael Dean, the sophomore. She drives. She's an open lane high. He's fall on the floor and they're going to call a jump ball. Possession arrow, I believe, stays in favor of the Red Raiders, and it does. In the Brockton, in the Brockton zone with 3:02 left in the period. Now checking in is Lockhart and Fernandez for the Red Raiders. Baseline, that's too long. Rebound, Mendez. There's a lock hard shot, that won't go. Oh, He's not Williams, tennis, baseline. Almeida was thinking about it. She slowed it down. I was inside the tennis, the tennis wasn't ready. Yeah, tennis got to be ready for that. She's in the paint. And the ball right there to her. Yep. Yeah, that was a nice uh, drop off pass. Yeah. She had a layup right off yeah, it. I mean, it was right there in her yep. hands, and she just couldn't hold on to it. You got to be ready. <laughs> And Mendes played real nice here, too. Now Mendes coming by me to such walk out for a long three. Won't go. I'm going to say it was last touch by Tennessee. Oh, yeah. hey. Bunched of a ball in the block and then with 2.27 left in this period. Yeah, Tennessee's got her hands full underneath with number 55, Tiana Fernandez. Yeah. Now driving a jumper. Oh. That's blocked. And now Williams trying to get out of her own. She's double teamed. She out. Tannis comes back to up her out. Trying to open up the court. Back to Williams. And now Williams no, and Mendez. And we're going to have a hold. Yeah, that was too much hand checking there. That's your yeah. second foul. Barnstable, they seem like they love to uh, trap. Excuse me, they love to trap Brockton here. And, uh, so far, it hasn't worked. It hasn't resulted in a lot of turnovers. Yeah, Brockton's done a pretty good job to getting out of that trap. The ball checks in for Mendez. Now Williams. He gets double teamed. Feeds him to Tannis. Almeida driving baseline to the far baseline. Montero too strong. And Barnstable gets that rebound. Yeah, holding opportunity right there. Yeah, good shots, the boxes. Yeah, lady boxes need to make those. Definitely. They're working around the perimeter. Long three. Yes. Five and ten. Downtown. Yeah, it was. That's on Birch. Her first team fourth. She's definitely there a little early. Definitely there a little early. Yeah. I 
I mean, there was a couple of bodies on a, one of the assistant coaches. So Bonfro didn't see the foul, but there was a foul. Yeah, she, she got there early. She bumped, uh, I forget who was trying to catch the pass, but she definitely bumped her and got the foul. Now Williams off the inbound. All the way inside the Montero on the foul baseline. Tipped by, covered by Amita. She's driving. And they're going to call. Is that what they call it? I didn't see no hand gestures, so I wasn't sure yeah, what that was. Kick, kickball. Kickball. You need to do a better job. And one of my glasses is going to tell that guy that. <laughs> All right, so here we go. 115 left in this period, tied at 10. They're working around the perimeter, and they lost the ball. As, as Burks did a little bit out of reach of Olsen. I'd love to see the boxers drive more uh, this quarter. Try to get a uh, bunch more, even more foul trouble. Already four fouls. That could be big for the second quarter. Yeah, I noticed boss um, Brockton has got a little cold in the last three or four minutes of this first quarter. They came out hot, but they've cooled off. Yeah, they haven't scored uh, their last couple possessions yes. here, and uh, it's a lot of bunch to get back in the game. All right, so off the inbound, approaching a minute left in the period. Alameda. Trying to drive, she kicks up baseline to Montero. Montero is already top of the, top of the key. Williams double team, and here's a nice baseline shot. In and oh, they get the wrong one. Follow up, they can't finish tennis, and she's fouled. Yeah, nice job by Tannis getting in there, mixing it up with the um, defense. And Williams originally was the first one to get in that and uh, get the offensive rebound. And really, she should have made that, put that right back up. She put it in the Yeah, corner. she rushed it, I feel like. But it's uh, got Tannis yeah. at the line now. Puts the first. Here's her second shot. And she gives Brockton a two-point lead with 49.4 tenths of a second left in this period. Now in transition, here come out Birch. I thought she double doubled. She's it way back there, it's off the side of her. Yeah, uh, that, that went off the, the corner of the, the back. I thought that had been a whistle. Yeah, I thought, that, I thought that was a stoppage in play. So I think it went off the top. I'm not sure if it, it should have been a whistle. It went off the top of it. Okay. Uh, you were right, though, is what I'm saying. Yeah. Oh, okay, it, yeah. didn't, it didn't go off the other side. It went off the top. So. Some crazy action happening at, at half cover. We have a push. We call that on Birch. Yeah, I was right. Her first, I believe, team sixth with 24.5 tenths of a second. And That's big, Miles. I just said that. Two more fouls since I've said that. Right. They're going to be in the foul. Uh, they're going to be in bonus starting next period or the next foul. Yeah. All right, so here we go. Off the inbound in the Red Raiders end. Montero. Montero speaks tennis in. Not the last. Nice. And that little dump off pass has been there all night tonight for uh, the boxers. Yeah, nice pass. Nice dump off pass by Montero. They're working around the perimeter. They work it back out. Funk tries to feed inside to Fernandez. Fernandez has it back to Funk. That's tipped with 1.9 tenths of a second. A little bit inbound pass right in front of the Brockton's, Brockton's bench. Of course, shot clock is off. And there's your shot. And That'll end the period, guys. With your score, Brockton 14, Barnstable 10. Ladies, let's get back to baseball. Um, I, I think it's fair to say the lady boxes have come to play today. Yeah, yeah, boxes came out hot in the beginning, like I said. And they cooled down a little bit, but they've been playing good defense to keep Barnstable down to only 10 points in that first quarter. Yep, absolutely. The, the first couple of minutes were big for uh, the boxes. First, a lot of turnovers. Haven't seen as much of the games. Not as sloppy as it was originally, but Boxers have played very well. They've been driving the lane. They're going to be in the bonus starting the, uh, the rest of this half. And if they can take advantage of that, they can maybe get a 10-point lead here before the half. Yeah, there's at least about six to eight points. Easy underneath shots that they just couldn't finish. Because they really should be up by 20-10. But we'll, we'll take 14 right now, 14-10, to 10, to start the second period. For sure. I don't think Bunchville's really got anything going here, which is 
Yeah, really good. Yeah, for a team 13 and 5, they showed a lot in that first quarter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. I definitely was expecting a little bit more from my 13 and 5 squad. But, you know, it's still early. Maybe they got to get that yeah. rhythm going, you know? But I guarantee you, with Brockton's 7-10 um, and 10 record, they, they play a much tougher schedule than um, Yeah, they, they played the best team in uh, Massachusetts twice, BR. Yeah. Now Fernandez driving. We're going to have a travel. called on that, and here come the lady boxers. Alexandra Williams, over to her sister Liz Williams, inside the tennis, they do it again, all oh, this time she can't finish. Rebound, Barcelona, here come the Red Raiders. Yeah, she might have been underneath the basket, just a little bit too much. But again, that pass is there for the boxers. It's been there, that block has been wide open. Lead is two for the boxers. 14 12. Williams kicks out to Amazon. Her float off the rim won't go. Oh, that might have been out on boxing. Yeah, that, that was close. I wish we had the, um, the video screen to see the instant replay. But. Yeah, it would have been nice. All right, so here we go off the inbound. Just underway here in the second period. by Mendes. She goes down hard, lost, lost her balance, but she's getting up. She is, a, that kid's a, that kid's a player right there. All right, now Williams. Alexander Williams all the way inside to her sister, Liz Williams. There's a back to her. There's a long three for Alexander. Yes. Downtown. Uh, she came right off the uh, not really a screen, but seemed when she handed the ball up to her sister, uh, almost like a screen play. Yeah. Shot. Now Mendez, long three. On the rebound. Oh. Tough call. So a hey, nice position by number 30. Um, Dorian Funk, a senior, got the position on the Williams sister and put it right back up. Yeah, I think that's what the ref awarded there. She yeah. got the position. She got she got inside, and uh, they call a foul there. No, it's I good. I'm sorry. More than anything, I think it was more body contact because she didn't hit her arms or mm -hmm. anything like that. Hit some yeah, from our angle, it didn't look like anything, but right. I think you're right. You probably pressed up on her. Yeah. And, no shooter, no let her shoot. All right, here comes Elizabeth, Elizabeth Williams. Hey, on the side to Amazon, she saves. It gets it back over the... Elizabeth Williams, thinking about her sister inside the cutter. Her flow to baseline won't go. Liz Williams is in a pick up. She works inside. It's me with Amazon. Now here comes Mendez with her speed, and she all oh, too strong. But Gordine's there for the rebound for the Red Raiders. Now OC shot won't go. Rebound dropped in. Well, her pass. Oh, she tried to hit her sister. Yeah, she was trying for the touchdown. Yes, she was. Great play there, though. Yep. She had her open. She had her open, yeah. through it. So here's some information on the Cape and Island League. we got in Boston are coming into our game tonight. They play out of the Atlantic Division. Falmouth won the conference and the division with an 11-18-4 uh, record. Nasset 14-4. And, and then Boston, like Bile said, 13-5. And, and that shot way overshot. And they, let me see, they uh, average 49 points a game, but they also give up 40 points a game. <laughs> so this yeah, is seem, seem like they play a lot of close games. Yeah. Now Almeida's three yes. hits. Almeida's been good tonight. I think she's got eight points in, uh, or nine points, excuse me. I believe that's a three-point shot. Swing! Yes. Now Birch, her jump shot won't go, tipped. Rebound O.C. Now she turns out and drives a base, a uh, long three won't go. We see it was last touch by Amazon, so they'll stay constable ball with exactly 508 left in this half. Boxes up by six. Now Mendez, Fernandez turn around, jump shot. Hits. Yeah, nice shot right off the glass. 
Yeah, definitely a nice shot yeah. until she practices that. Yeah. Now Williams. Gonna have a foul. We we'll call that on Olsen. And like you said, it was gonna be sooner or later one on one. Yep. Uh, 17 fouls. It's supposed to happen a little sooner, but yeah. I mean, that's good. I think it hasn't happened sooner because they've been worried about the drive more, and it's opened up two threes this quarter for the Boxers. Exactly. All right, so here we go. Elizabeth Williams has shoot a couple. Well, one definitely. I didn't get the roll. Rebound, Constable. Now Mendez covered by Elizabeth Williams. Looks over the far side. Funk driving using her speed. Just over the far side of the baseline to Birch. Birch and Williams pick the pocket. Yeah. Nice hands by Williams there. Yeah. Oh, Tried to go coast to coast on that one. Yeah, I tell you, Alexandria Williams, she knows how to handle that basketball. So, She's only a freshman. So she, uh, Williams, uh, uh, sophomore, 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 excuse me. That's all right. All right, so Elizabeth Williams checks out. Oh, you're right, she definitely, she's unbelievable with the ball. Good. She, you can't stay in front of her. No. And King checks in. A shot by Almeida won't go. Rebound on the floor. And really in basketball, if you have a good guard, you're going to stay in a game. They can keep you in a game, good yeah. guards. They can control the pace, the tempo. Sweet. They're working around the hallway at the far side of the baseline. Stopping inside the Fernandez. Back out. By Gordon. Funk under the boards. That's a loose ball. Fernandez tries to pull it up. She does. Nice job inside again. Fernandez. Fernandez, yeah. King. She's been good offense for Boxable here. The young lady works it inside, almost lost the ball. There's a floater by Amazon won't go. Rebound Boxable. Now in transition, turn around. There's a shot. That's too long. Rebound Brockton. Here comes Elizabeth Williams. Kicks it over to Almeida. She recovers, lost it for a second, covered by Mendes, kicks it back over to King as they switch positions. Williams, far side, and then over. I think there's space in there, yeah, yeah, tough space, and they kind of both intertwined uh, with each other's roots there. They probably thought they were going to hit each other. Hey, run it all the way through, let's go. Get in the badge, and work it all the way through. The point is... Three minutes, approaching three minutes left in this half. 2018 Brockton. Now Mendez. Kicked it over, that was Cabral. Now back to Birch. Fernandez. Funk drives from the baseline. She's fouled. And she will go to a charity strike and has a chance to tie this game. And they're calling that on, uh, I think, tennis. Yeah, I think that was on tennis. That's the first. In Barnstable, they got a chance to tie this game here after, again, it seemed like they were going to fade away again, and uh, they come right back. Yeah, Falk has a quick, when she goes to the basket, she really puts on yeah, a little she's got a quick first speed. step. Yeah, very quick first step. Now King. Amazon inside the tennis. She's in her body. Trying to get, but she kicks it back up to Almeida now, covered by Mendez. She has a long shot. That's short. We're going to get Amazon for a push. Yeah, she pushed, uh, looks like she, was it Funk? She pushed Funk in, Funk in the back there. Can't do that. Tied at 20. Two minutes and roughly about 25 seconds approaching left in this half. Mendez using the speed. She floats it up too strong. And then she fights like a... 
a warrior under the hoop to try to get her own rebound. Yeah, she's very quick. A possible guard there, number 12. Mendes. Yeah, she made a nice move there. Was, yeah. uh, she got a tough roll. Three on one here. Yeah, King over to Almeida. But yeah. stepping in front of that was Cabral. Now here comes Funk for uh, Bonstable. Cabral, Fernandez. Back to Cabral, long shot. That's too strong. Saved by Cabral, tipped. Where's the foul? Whenever foul on Birch. And there was some contact. Yeah, that's a big foul right there. That's yeah. about 70 feet from the basket, and uh, it's going to send Brockton to the line. This is where Brockton has to take advantage of the free throws. And I, I was just about to say, this is big, like you said. Uh, it feels like the game, not getting away from them, but it feels like the momentum's with Barnstow right yeah, now. They can so. get the lead right back, go in the half with the lead yeah, here, only 151 to play. Right, and in the last few minutes, a lot of shots are not falling for Brockton, so if they can get some free shots at the free throw line, they need to take advantage. Yeah, it seems like Brockton hasn't really got a sh good shots up, yeah. and Barnstow's getting good shots, and uh, luckily they're just not falling. Almeida misses the first one. Here comes Mendez, approaching 140 left in this half. Mendez pivots to Gordine now. Gordine back to Mendez. Inside, but good job by the boxer, stepping in front of that. Long break. Emerson, see if she tries to finish. Kicks a baseline to King. Tipped. And she's able to get her own rebound. That goes fast. Feeds it inside. Great job by King, trying to save it. That was a nice step in front by King. That yeah, seemed nice like hustle. an easy layup. Nice hustle. There's a reason why she's my favorite player on this team. Yeah, she hustles. Oh, uh, yeah. She does it all for them. Now Funk. There's Gordie for long spree. Let's go. Williams is doing a great job on the boards for the boxers up in this first half. And there's the foul. Yeah. And Williams will go to the line. Mendes has to be in trouble. I think that's yeah, I was going to say, she's had a few fouls called on her in this first half. We'll try to get you that stats coming into the third. And, and with Mendes coming, that helps the boxes a little bit because um, Mendes is, is kind of a thorn in the boxer's side out there. She's very fast. Yeah, she's been uh, quick. She, she's been getting the lane. She's been great for others, uh, getting shots up, offensive rebound opportunities. It's the first. I'm not really sure why Barnes was still uh, pressing, though. I mean, they're in the penalty. Yeah. It's only a minute left. Right. The ball was already almost over half court. It should have just backed off there, but uh, results in a foul on a free throw trip. Misses the second one. Up by one, approaching a minute left in the half. Here's Cabral now. Go to the block on one. Cabral over to Funk. Funk thinking about driving. She does. Stops as Amazon slowed her down. Now Gordon covered by King. That's the same ball. Get in. That's the ball. And we're going to say it was last touched by the Red Raiders. Yeah, tough defense by Brockton there, mm -hmm. forcing that turnover. Yeah, they've been getting their hands on a lot of uh, loose basketballs, a lot of passes. That they... yeah, Coach Thatcher smile at that play right there. She liked the defensive. Oh, oh too much mustard by Tannis. Yep. She That's that same pass we've been seeing all half, though. That, that's been there. I expect that to continue to be there in the second half, too. Definitely. All right, 39.9 tenths of a second left in this first half, and Brockton holding on Control to a 21 to 20 lead. Control. Brockton's defense, though, has kept them in this, this last couple of four minutes. They, it feels like they've been hanging on by a thread on the offensive yeah, end. It's been defense. Off the inbound in the Brockton end, Dean driving baseline. And she's going to get, as Tannis will get called for that one. Tough one from Tannis there. Yeah. She didn't really position her body well enough and it results in a bump. I think she could have, without putting the body contact on because she was underneath the basket, just let it go. She couldn't have put it underneath. She would have had to come out yeah. outside there on the other side. Mm -hmm. There's her first shot. Hits the first. Tied at 21. I think Barnstable's first chance to take a lead right here. <laughs> Misses the second tip. Okay, now long rebound. 
Here comes Almeida. She smashes with the right hand. Nice draw by Almeida. Yeah, nice play by number 21, Oko. S saw the open late. Yeah, she boxer. comes right in. She gets yeah. a rebound, which and is big. An assist. And then uh, looks, puts her head right up and looks. Yes, good play. Seconds left in the first half. Williams steps back for three. That's off the rim. Falls short. It will be Barnstable ball with 3.5 tenths of a second left. Barton something crazy. Or it looks like Brockton will have the lead. Mark the ball. She'll throw it up. <laughs> And that's how the half win. We just score Brockton 23, Bonstable 21. You know, I I expect Brockton to play hard, and they're playing a very good Bonstable team, and I was expecting something like this tonight. Yeah, uh, I'm very proud of the Brock Lady Boxers playing great defense. Um, they made some some good shots, but they also missed a few. But it's nice to see they're in the lead at, at the end of that um, second quarter, 23-21. They really earned that. And if you've watched this Brockton team, uh, you know how tough they play, how good they play. The record doesn't reflect it. And you could feel it coming uh, in the arena tonight. You know, right. there's going to be a close, pretty good game. Uh, and it's seen that so far. Their offense seemed to uh, slow down the last couple minutes, but their defense has kept them in this game, yep. like you said. And uh, they're, they're, with, they're within two. They're up two here. All right, Miles Jackson, Chris Bacon, I'm Dominic Damian, and the rest of the Brockton Community Access TV sports crew will be back with the second half. And hi, everybody, welcome back to Staff Gymnasium here at the, comp the Brockton High School Complex. Miles Jackson, Chris Bacon, and Dominic Damiano getting ready to get on the way to start this second half. Guys, your thoughts? And well, I think Brockton has a chance, and I think what they have to do is just make a few more shots, and uh, they can be right in this and uh, pull one out here on senior night. Well, um, we said in the first half, foul trouble, uh, a lot of fouls, and uh, so far Mendes is the one in foul trouble with three for uh, the boxers, we have three on uh, Tannis too, but uh, Mendes is a bigger piece for, uh, I'd say, Boxwell because they, they press, they like to press, so it's going to be tough without it. Yeah. So I got a little, I got a little gut for us as we, before we, have the, before we put the ball in play. So on Friday at 9 o'clock, we're going to have the girls carry for the South Sectional. And it looks like Needham and Bridgewater Raynham will have to flip for that. She's going to be number one. All right, just like that, underway. And Williams can't finish her layup. Rebound Boswell on the break. And, and there comes Elizabeth Williams with her turnover. Over there, Almeida was a good look. Off the rim, too strong. Rebound block, and there's Elizabeth Williams. Alexander Williams, excuse me. Here's the Liz Williams, covered by Funk. Brockton up by two as he starts the second half. Oh, what a nice try, just too much on it. Rebound, possible. Now Funk. Over to Gordine, her baseline shot. Won't go, rebound block. And on our feed. Uh, that looked like some contact. Yeah. yeah, I thought that was a foul for sure. Yeah. That's why I didn't say nothing. I thought it was going to be. Huh? Yeah, exactly. All right, well, that, that, that falls under the first yikes. Uh, yikes uh, yeah. Don't tonight. Try. So far, they've been pretty good, but that was an obvious foul. There was contact. Why didn't you the ball didn't hit the glass? Because she got a hit whacked. All right, so the Bonsoir coach is getting a bench warning. And we will have an inbound, an inbound pass in the Bonsoir end. Well, that means the um, Bonsoir coach has to be a good doobie. Just Absolutely. Nice and set. Keep her left. Keep her left. Williams off the inbound from her sister, Liz Deep. Williams. Here comes Alex Anderson. She'll drive for the whole bench. Nice. He finishes. Nice finish. Yeah, but they're going to wave it off. Did they wave it off? Yeah, before the wow. shot. That's wow, tough. I right. thought, I don't know where. They call that on Cabral, her first, I mean, team first. I know in the NBA that's continuation. Yeah, exactly. Off the inbound, Williams trying to finish the dish up her sister, not strong enough. And we're going to have a jump off. 
Possession now goes in favor of the Red Raiders. A tough trip for Williams there. I thought she got fouled on one, then she makes her way up, and then she misses one. Yeah. Just, I don't know what more you can ask for her. Yeah. yeah. Now Birch, over to Gordine, too strong. Lost her for a minute. Finally gets over to Cabral, kicks it back up on the far side, Birch for three. I tell you, she's been doing that all night. Absolutely. Yeah, she's been Barstool's, I think, best player of the night. Yeah, she's showing, showing her senior leadership. T, step up the head. Definitely. Stay there, T. Help. Elizabeth Williams steps back for three. That's short. Rebound, Barstool. Funk. Move it over to Cabral, covered by Amazon. Dean baseline shot. That's too long. Rebound. Tennis. Yeah, nice rebound. Now Almeida tries to feed. Whoa! Oh! She finishes on the little give and go. How are you? Nice finish from Williams. Yeah, obviously. nice athletic move. And if she came down with that, I thought she would have never really got the shot up, so that was a smart, smart play from her. Yeah, very smart play. That's good. That's so much fun. Like a sophomore. Oh. I will have a change of possession. It'll be Brockton ball. And again, Brockton gave up that three. But it didn't really, they didn't really give it up. It was a broken play. They got almost a turnover, so it's that was fine. Now, Alexander Williams, she's fouled and she'll go to the charity strike. And she's been aggressive here. Very aggressive here in the third quarter. Um, the younger Williams sister starting to um, take over here in the early on in this third quarter doing her thing. That's what they seem like they need. Their defense has been superb tonight, and they just need a little scoring boost. She just tossed the yep. ball up there like it was nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it's the first. Well, I noticed that too, huh, Don? Oh, yeah. When you're that athletic, I guess you can have any type of rhythm. You don't, look you don't waste any time. Oh. Grabs the ball and shoots. She just doesn't think about nothing. She knows where the cylinder is. She wants to get it through the cylinder. Yeah, she doesn't really get in the rhythm shooting free throws, but it didn't seem like it affected. her. Now Cabral trying to reach. Kicks all the way far, far baseline. Burks. And Williams steps in front of a pass, a pass intended for Funk. And here comes her, and she's using her hands behind the ball. Tannis wasn't expecting to hit her right now. Oh, Tannis wasn't ready. Well, I'll tell you what, Williams right now, she's got the killer mentality. Though. Yeah. She's going for it. Yeah. And uh, I'm loving what I'm seeing from her. She's having fun. Long shot for Gordine. Won't go. Tip. Here comes Birch on her floater. Won't go. Tannis on the rebound for Rockham. And smart heads up by Almeida as Cabral tried to slow down that two-on-one. And she knocked it out of bounds. It'll be Brockton Ball in the bounds to Belen. Fernandez checks out. Tough play for Elizabeth Williams there. She had both. Two of them had to pick. In the middle. In the inbound. There's a baseline shot. Bang. Nice. Let's do. And so far it's the Williams show in the second yeah. half. Big sister there. Oh, the big shot. Now Funk stops, kicks out Cordine. She's going to try to drive her for it. Nice block. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. oh they're going to say they're going to call yeah, it the that body. Yeah, that was a ticky-tack foul, yeah, on the body. Because she definitely got all ball. Yeah, she definitely got all ball. Excuse me. Yeah, I, I would have let that one go if I'm the ref. I mean, it was a good defensive yeah. play. All right, so Gordina shoot a couple, hits the first. There's another young lady just tosses it up there, good mechanics. Yeah, yeah, good free throw shooter. She's taking advantage when she's um, gone to the free throw line. Both these teams really, uh, they've been good from the line tonight. I, no one's really uh, squandered a lot of chances. Misses the second in transition. Almeida steps back for shot. That's short. Rebound, Red Raiders. Come, here comes Gordine. She's going to try to go the, all the way, and she does. Now it is Williams. Over to Alexander Williams. Kicks it back out to. It doesn't tend, that was intended for Almeida. A little miscommunication. We've seen that like six times so far in this game by the Lady Boxers. The story of this game so far seems like Boxers get the first run, then it slows down a little bit uh, in each of the quarters. That's a jump, jump shot that went, uh, went bad. And then we have a 
Loose ball on the four possession. Now it goes in favor of the Lady Boxers. Officially 4.09 left in this period. Here in the third, 29-27 Boxers. Now Williams, Alexander will go down meet. I'll meet a triple team. Amazon with a look. That's too long. Tennis to clean that up. Kicks it back off. I'll meet it for three. And we're going to roll. And they're going to call a push off. And that's tough. That's going to be four on Tannis. Yeah. She's going to have to come out. Yep. And that's going to hurt Brockton. Uh, Alka's coming in. She'll, uh, and, and I saw the push off. It wasn't much no. of a push off. but. And I was just about to say, she's got to be careful when she gets the ball down there. Trying to get an offensive foul. And that's just a tough call. Yeah. Now Benton, who just checked in for Cabral, she gets double team. Travel and, maybe there. Yeah. Little baseline shot by Birch and hits a little jump shot. Yeah, the senior's done a good job all night hitting shots from all parts of the court. Yeah, she's been consistent scoring. Uh, Alexander Williams from Elizabeth Williams is a shot by Amito. No, I'm sorry, Amazon won't go. Rebound box. Now Gordine trying to go around Williams with the left hand. Can't rebound block and Owens. Knocked out by, I think that was, I think that was knocked out by Robinson, it was. So Brockton's ball on the inbound. Mendez checks back in and so does Birch. I like that decision from the left there. They could have called a foul, yeah. but it was already going out of bounds, going to Brockton. That's good reffing right yeah, there. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Now Alexander Williams, over to Almeida, covered, covered by Austin. Williams with a nice look. Thanks. I think the Williams sisters, all the points this half, yeah. they've been aggressive, they've been hitting their shots. Especially our sophomore. Yeah, she's been, had the yeah. killer mentality uh, yeah, this killer. second half. Yeah. Now Mendez, her floor to that short tip. Balls loose. Benton tries to bring it up. Follow it up again. Nothing happens. Now in transition with 2 1 none. Here comes Williams inside the Almeida. She. Fernandez checking back in for Bentonton. Locked in the lead is three. Almeida now. Her long shot. In. Uh, Second time tonight. I've seen Almeida's had a hot hand tonight. That one yeah. was just in and out. In and out. Spun right out. Mm -hmm. Mendez long pass. OC for the. <laughs> oh, can't leave her open. Oh, yeah, she's deadly. Right at 32, approaching two minutes left in the third period. Liz Williams from Almeida back to Williams, covered by Mendez. Thinking about going right, she stops. Now she goes all the way to Alexander Williams. She gets double teamed. She'll use her speed, go to traffic. Oh, what a nice play. Stops the softball, kicks off far side to Almeida, who jumps, breaks it inside to Oka. And I'm going to say it was last touched by her. No, nice it's left by Bonsville, I'm sorry. Yeah, nice job by Boxes, moving that ball around and then getting it inside. Yep, exactly, couldn't have said it better. Now Alexander Williams for a long shot. Rebound Bonsville, here comes Buck now, and goes over to the point guard, Mendez. 1.30 left in the third period, tied at 32. Fernandez said inside, okay. I'm not sure what Elizabeth Williams is doing on that when she kind of let her go. Yeah. That is Oko's first team third. Yeah, Oko caught caught her on the arm. She got a piece of the ball, but she caught her on the arm when she went went up with. Well, that's good. Oko doesn't have a lot of fouls too. Yeah. That's smart. Um, she hasn't played a lot tonight, but that's Make a good foul. Yep. yep. Exactly. Miss free throw. All right. So it looks like uh, O.C.'s out and uh, Lockhart checks in. Here's Fernandez's shot. This is a this tip. She gets her own rebound. A little Florida. That won't go. Front now. That's blocked in front. Trying to put up his berth. Won't go. Tipped. Mendez now on the too rebound. Too many offensive rebounds. Way too many. Now Lockhart. 
Baseline inside for Fernandez, spinning, kicks it back up the lockout for three. Oh. That's just tough. There's like three or four there. They got, can't get that yeah, up. Yeah, they got too many offensive boards. Mm -hmm. Fox is not doing a good job there on the defensive end. But that's sorry, a and that, you know, that's a large part. Tannis coming out of the game. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's tough without her. So it'll be Bonstable Ball. Last touch. I'm thinking about it. Okay. Hard to see with the ref and all that. Now Mendez, covered by Alexander Williams. Quick to drive, use the speed. Her floater. Won't go. Rebound, Oka. We have a foul. A lot of time, a good job. Yeah. Uh, she jumped the sky for that one. Going to call that on Fernandez. Yeah, she was over the back. Way over. And good job by um, Oko for uh, getting the position. Yeah, especially after the last possession, they gave up a couple that time. She wasn't giving up no second chances. Yeah. And the key was she went up for the rebound and held on to the ball. Yeah, uh, exactly. Last possession, she didn't, she didn't really grab it last time. Right. So OC checks back in for Mendez for Bonsable. 30 points, 30 point no, one tenth of a shot. second left in this period. T3, go to front. Almeida. Stop too long, back over, and that's slid! Great goal, even with a nice defensive play. Oh, almost looked like a carry. Yeah, nice block from Williams there. Lost the ball for a minute. Nine seconds, the shot clock is off. Seven seconds. Let go! Let go! Yeah, it went off her foot. Abby! 2.8 tenths of a second. On the inbound is Lockhart in front of us. Cliff Fernandez turns around, that's blocked. And that'll end the third period. We are score Bonstable 35, Brockton 32. Guys, we're still in this game. Yeah, um, Brockton's really fighting hard. It's, and, and like Chris said, they kind of hurt a little bit with Tannis coming out of the game because she is in foul trouble with four fouls. And um, they're just going to have to fight a little bit tougher when she's not in there. Yeah, their defense uh, takes a, a large hit, I would say, about tennis in the game. And uh, probably the most successful quarter for Barnstable. They showed a lot of their strengths in that quarter. And, uh, but it's still good that the boxers are in this game. Absolutely. I've liked what I've seen from both Williams sisters. Yeah. Uh, a couple missed shots here and there. It's not anyone's fault. It's in and out rim shots, and uh, that's really what it's been. Yeah, they need more of the Williams sisters going into this fourth quarter, especially the sophomore, uh, Alexandra. She really uh, showing her skills, mm -hmm. and just about, like you said, taking over the ball game there. Some parts of that third quarter, doing her thing. And, so, and really, the it, Barstool, uh they're in the lead, but it, it wasn't like uh, you know, they just outplayed them in a certain way. It was just one possession where they didn't get a couple of rebounds, and that kills you. Yeah, a number of the Boswell girls have been hitting big shots from the outside. Mm -hmm. um, it's been a team effort. All right, guys, here's the last eight minutes of the 2019-2020 Lady Boxers basketball season. And they're doing a great job here on senior night here at Stafford Region. And we're underway. O.C. Feeding Gordine. Gordine goes off, of course, over the other side to Birch. Birch inside to Fernandez. We have a push on Oka. So it'll be Bonstable ball on the inbound, guys. That was the right call there. She yeah. had her hands on her back. On a, yeah. Oka, a junior, so we'll see her next year. Yep. There's a baseline shot long. Rebound possible. Oshi. Funk in the drive. Her floater in the system. Foul. Maybe a swipe across there and uh, the shot. Who did they call that on? I believe it was uh, number one. Oh, Amazon. Okay. Yeah, Amazon. I have a question on that. It hits the first. That, and that looked like it was before the shot. Yeah. Didn't it? it did. It should have been taken out from underneath. I'll show the other one. Yeah. That one down the, here. Yeah. I mean. Oh, wait. Okay. Hits them both. 
They have extended their lead to five as of right now with 7.33 left in the game. They're on senior night. Here at Brockton High School in Stack and there's a nice little floater by Williams, too strong, rebound, Bonstable. Got up all the way to Thor Dean, trying to drive baseline. And the is followed by Alexander Williams, and she'll go to a charity strike. Bonstable really taking us to the loop here early on. Yeah. Uh, they got the boxers in foul trouble here. Gordine, the sophomore, she's really showing her stuff in this second half. Very tough to defend. Brooks had a very good uh, second half game overall. Extends the Bonstable lead to second. Williams. Almeida figured out she can still drive and she's fouled and she'll go to the charity strike and try to cut this possible lead to five. I'll tell you what, Almeida, good job right there. Yeah. Doesn't panic, doesn't take a, a shot, a tougher shot, she gets to the line. That's where you're going to get back in this game right now. Yeah, for a, for a small guard, she uh, wasn't scared to go right in there. Mm -hmm. Hooks the Mix it up with the, with the big boys. She's been a consistent scorer for the boxers tonight. If she can get going here again in this fourth quarter along with uh, Alexandra Williams and Elizabeth Williams, they, uh, they can win this game. Yeah, that's what they need. She, she makes me look good. She hits both of them. Now the lead's five. <laughs> now Gordine stops out the front. Over to Oshie, down to Birch in the baseline. She pivot, tries to feed inside, and Oka tips that away. It will stay Barnstable ball. Oka, nice tip there. That was going to be a layup. Yeah. Officially 6.48 left in the game. This is where Brockton needs to get some big defensive stops right here. Yeah, that last rush in the score there, Dominic, was big. It was getting to be do or die time for the Brockton pretty early. Now drop, baseline shot. Uh -huh. Oh, big shot. The staggers right now from Bonsable. Lead, lead back up to seven, 41-34. No shot on the And they don't give that. Nope. And call it right for Hernandez. Lady boxes aren't getting the breaks. No. I mean, it was a foul, but well, we've seen it called just down the other yeah, side. Yeah, exactly. Continuation, continuation down the end. On the inbound. That's twice for her now. Shoot a kid! I mean it for three. Almost got the pot on a long oh, shot. Rebound, Bonstable. I wonder how long Coach Thatcher waits to go back to Tanis here. Good, by good question, and here, here she comes. Yep, right on cue. All right, so Bruce will, will go to the free throw and shoot a couple from the charity stripe. Yeah. Looks like um, yes. Bettington for Bonsable along with Lockhart for Bonsable. Okay, and here comes here. Tennis, and Oka will take a seat. So Tannis in with four fouls, 6.15. They need her, but hopefully she can stay out of foul trouble the rest of this game. Let's hope so. Stay behind her! Behind her! 6.15 left. And here we go. Still some time here for the boxers, though. Rachel, stay on the shooter! Four, Rachel! Elizabeth Williams, over to Alexander Williams. Now she thinks she's going to grab her. Oh, nice, nice, nice pass. This guy has chances really for that one. Yeah, that was nice because the defense collapsed on Williams and the left hand is open and right underneath. Yep, a nice strip there. And let's see if she can finish with the right end. And there we go. Right back, four wow. quick points. We're going to time out for Coach Thatcher. Here's your situation. Five minutes, 46 sef seconds left in the game. 42-38. Bonstable, and I like this last minute of, minute of uh, adrenaline by the Lady Boxes. 
Yeah, we, Miles was just saying 6.15 and then 5.46, four straight points four straight. real quick. Think the thing about I like about um, Alexandra Williams, she's got that basketball mind. Remind me of Larry Bird a little bit. I mean, you can really see it in her face, in her, the way she plays. Um, when it's time to go, when it's yes. time to get some ba yes. some baskets, when it's time to, you know, take over this take game. Take over the game. And that's what Larry Bird used to do back in the day. Yep. Um, was Point. When it was time, he would take over. Mm -hmm. And she's got a, a real bright future here for the boxers. Yeah. That they're going to love her for the next two years. It's going to be enjoyable. Yes. All right, so let's see who the boxers come out out of this break with. Again, 546 left in the game. They're going to go with... Uh, Almeida, the Williams girls, Elizabeth and Alexander, Tannis, and I think that is Amazon. We haven't seen Montero that much in this game. No. She was in there early on and uh, hasn't come back in since. Nope. Now Mendez. On the drive, we're going to have a push. Tough foul there. That's that, that, that wasn't a good foul. No. She, really, that was not a smart foul. No. So Mendez will go to the charity stripe and shoot the one and one. Mendez hasn't had much action in the second half, and that's a, a credit to Barnstable. Yep. I mean, yep. she was in foul trouble, but uh, they've done this without her. Yeah, they've kind of shut her down. Yep. I'm saying, when you get the ball, be calm and shoot. Here's the second. Hits them both. And a big trip for her there. Barnstable lead is six. Alexander, excuse me, Elizabeth Williams, Almeida now. Amazon with a nice look. Oh, that's too long. Tennis to clean it up. Oh, and she just missed it. And tennis, that's what they've been missing. Yeah, what I like about Tennis, she didn't put the ball on the ground. She just put it right nope. back up and got fouled. Yep. When you put the ball low, that's where all the guards start it's scrapping at it. Exactly. And here comes Gordine, very good play. She's checking back in for a Bonsoir. Tannis hits the first. You know, the way Tannis shoots that ball, she looks like she's a lefty. Yeah, it does. Trying to cut the Bonsoir lead the fall with this shot with 5.22 left in the game. And she does. Good fall at the free throw line with it for Tannis. Now off the inbound, there's Mendez. Thinking about driving the whole way, kicks it back oh, out okay. the front. Now Funk tries it, turn it around, oh, stepping it oh. for the kick ball. Uh, they're gonna call that on Williams. Yeah, I don't know about that foul, call, Miles. Yeah, I, I didn't see much of a there's, kick. There's a the call should be almost when it's intentional. That seemed like a pass into a, a, yeah. a crowd of people. Now off the inbound, Mendez baseline covered by both Williams girls, has to kick all the way up the birch. On the other side, Gordine, no one had her covered. She comes too strong on that jump shot, covered by Funk for Bonstable. Do it again with another 30 seconds. Now Gordine, her hook shot. Yes. Wow. A tough there from Tana. Yeah. She couldn't really do anything. She's got four fouls. Great play yep. by Gordine. Definitely. And she's been big this second half. Williams over to Elizabeth Williams. Tennis baseline jumper. Won't go. Rebound. Constable. Look for the ball. Help everything. The lead is still 6 46 40. Need to stop here if you're blocked. Almost got a pocket pick. Timeout, timeout, Boswell, smart timeout. Yeah. 416 left in the game, 46 40, Bunchable. And I think this is going to come down to the last shot of the game. Uh, yeah, just as long as the boxers can make their shots because, I mean, just, yeah, because Bonstable's making their shots too. Yeah. Yeah. So it's basically they're, they're trading shots along with good defense. So the boxers really need to make a few more shots to keep up with this Bonstable team because they're dangerous. Absolutely. Yeah, they've gotten going the second half. Yeah. In the first half, a lot of shots in and out. Didn't really get a rhythm. Uh, the second yeah. half, though, they've, they've turned on the Jets. Oh, yeah. So we will let you know when, well, you'll, 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 when you hear us on, on, uh, on the network, uh, when the boys start their tournament run. I'm pretty sure they're going to host one game, maybe even two, if they keep on winning. 
they're going to be, I think the boys should be ranked somewhere in the top three in the South. Yeah, two losses on the year, 16 and 2. I know last week, early last week, they were fourth or fifth ranked in uh, Southeast. So, yeah. in the East. Yeah. Now off the inbound. Approaching four minutes left in the game. Five on the shot clock here. I'm going to have a shot clock violation. I got nervous there, Ma. Look yeah, I, I, about to yes, out it's there. like, don't, look at the shot yeah. clock running down. Yeah. Let, let, let the shot clock do the work. She got away with one, yes, I think. did. It was some contact. Now Williams, under, under four minutes left to play in the game. And a six-point lead for the Red Raiders. Amazon, all the way to Almeida, across the way. Who's it to Olivia Jones? Driving by Mendez. Back to Almeida. Back to Elizabeth Alexander Williams. Long three. That's over the back. Rebound Boswell. Tough possession there for the yeah, Boxers. That was get anything going now. Exactly. Now driving is Mendez. Her floater. Too hard. Won't go. Rebound Brockton. Tennis, Almeida for three. Bang. And Almeida, that's a big shot. Big shot. Put the crowd to its feet. Lead is three, 46-43. Mendez now. She's looking at the right. Yes. <laughs> you better focus holding on to the ball. That's funny. But uh, she's a good athlete, and she felt somebody touching her. Wow. There's a good no, there. no shot. Tip. Throw again. Round it, turn it around again, won't go. Rebound from Williams. It comes Brockton now. Shoot it! Shoot it! Shoot it! Shoot it! The intensity pick up here. Elizabeth, Elizabeth Williams, and she, I mean, Alexander Williams drives baseline, jumps. Nice jump step. Almost got uh, on rebound. Now, she had a nice hop step she did. there. She did. Just couldn't quite finish it. Approaching two minutes left in the game. Birch now. She stops. Tries to go around tennis inside the Gordine. Gordine's fouled. Hey, that's okay, though. Saw that on Amazon. Almost where the foul line becomes pivotal again. And then yeah. after the game, we'll have uh, me and Maz will have an interview. We'll have to pick, uh, see the coach picks for the player of the game. We can, you know, get an interview. Last game of the season, you know. Gordine misses a very big free throw, the first one. For the boxes here, get ready to box out. Here's the second one, <laughs> misses them both. That's a last touch by Amazon. Top break there for the boxes. Yeah, I think she threw it off her leg, maybe. Yeah. Uh, that's just tough. I think, she, I think you're right. And those are the rebounds that are out of bounds. They're going to say she was on the line. Yeah, good defense by uh, Alexandra Williams. Yeah, she's been hassling her defender. Yeah. She really had made her work. Yep. Two minutes left in the game. Elizabeth Williams. Now she's taking the drive. No, Gets it up to her sister for three. Bang. A beautiful shot. Time off. Possible. The Brady Boxers have come back with a minute 46 to tie the game. And you could tell when they got to the half-court offense, the older Williams sister kind of looked at her sister and said, get, in, get open, and they got it to her, and she hit the big three. Yep, and we said, I said, I think we said earlier in this game, uh, Almedio was big, and then both the Williams sisters were big, and they've, they've really shown it this half, this yeah. last couple minutes here. Almeida and then uh, Alexander Williams, back-to-back -back threes. Yeah. And you could hear from the bench over here. They were yelling, do not leave her. Leave her out, yes. I'm, I'm dying to see if this coach loses his marbles and forces a tech. Yeah, because he's already got one warning. Yeah, he's got a warning. And this game ain't getting any, this game ain't getting any easier. No. All right, so your situation again, 146. Left in the game, tied at 46. He's got a minute 46 ball game here now. Yeah. 0-0. Zero, zero. Yes. Both teams in the bonus. 
Just like in the All-Star game, they went back to 0-0. Zero, zero. Yep. Yeah, at the end of the quarters. At the end of the quarters, yeah. yeah. All right, off the inbound. There's Birch over to Mendes. Covered by Alexander Williams. They switch it around, they go far baseline, driving is Gordine, and she's fouled. And she'll go to charity strike for a couple. Yeah, Gordine went baseline there, she got inside, and she powered her way up. Yeah, she powered her way exactly, used her body, and she knows how to use it. Yep. And, and got the foul. That, but good foul there, once she gets to that point. Uh, again, she yeah. just missed two free throws. Box is probably knowing that. Foul her and... Uh, you make her earn it. You gotta make these. Another sophomore at the free throw line is big impact during this yeah, basketball I game. Think both sophomores this game, from yeah. both sides have uh, really been the big impacts. And yeah. Elizabeth Williams has just fouled out of the game. Wow, that hurts. Yeah, that's big. She's been a, a big piece of uh, rebounding, right. really everything, playmaking, scoring. Yeah, she's been like a one-two punch yep. for these lady, lady boxers. Working with a sister. Yep. Absolutely. Jordine hits the first. This is big. Hits them both. The lead is two with 1.30 left yep. in the game. Yep. Inside the Oka. Oka trying to move. It's the backboard. I like the idea from Oka, though. She did have it. Yeah. Mendes. I think she moved in a little bit too much under the basket. Yeah, yeah took got her caught. Angle. Yeah, took her angle away on that one. Now Funk around the front of Gordine baseline. She takes a shot. Whoa! Oh, oh, wow. A minute left in the game. 51-46. Long three. Rebound by Williams to make both these, they still have a chance. Still have a chance. It'll be uh, if she can make both these, it'll be a uh, three-point game. So one, one possession. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta. She gotta make both these and get defend without falling. She had a nice steal here. That was big. Yes. Good anticipation there on that steal by Williams. That's the first. How many timeouts do I have? Four. Can we call a timeout and tell him? Yes. Here's the second. Misses the second. Constable on the rebound. Hold it! 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 Hold they gotta get it up quick. Yep. They're still down two possessions. A three. Oh, that's a rebound. Constable. Oh, that's gotta do it. Yeah, that'll win the game. Okay, that, that was a great effort by the Lady Boxers. Mm -hmm. They fought and clawed the whole game and just came out a little bit short there at the end. That's where it hurts having a couple of younger players. Yeah. Tough late game situations. Those yeah. are the games you lose sometimes. Exactly. And then you get older, you get in your senior year, those games you're winning. Yeah. But, but, but Dom, I, I think um, the sophomore, William Sister, as far as MVP for um, the Boxers. You see if we get somebody. Okay. Uh, yeah, so your thoughts, Chris? Uh, they played good. Again, senior night, they, you knew they played good tonight. And a uh, really close game. The score uh, reflects of what we had here tonight. Yeah, I, I thought at the, with about 15, 20 seconds, there was a lot of contact on, on our team when we had the ball and there was no whistle. Yeah. They, you know, if, if there could have been a whistle, they would have got to the free throw line and maybe made one or two shots. And all they need is really one to make it a one possession, but they, it was a two possession, and there was really no call. They, the, basically, the referees let them play. The one hurt, too, was uh, the other Williams sisters going out, Elizabeth. Uh, 
they were able to double Alexandra Williams. Yeah. She had to handle the ball more. She couldn't get free for a shot, and right. that uh, affected their offense the last minute or so. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, hey, they, they, they went out in style. They didn't um, just um, lay down. Yeah, there's a lot to look forward to for this future of the boxers. Yeah, oh, definitely so. All right, everybody, welcome back. After game, tough game, but you play, what a great, great heart you guys showed. Yeah, us Lady Boxers, we played to the last minute, like we say. We just, we really wanted this one, but it's okay. It's unfortunate, but it's our last game, but thank you. Yeah, y'all played some great defense, forced a lot of turnovers, um, and, and made some big shots to stay in the game, but it seemed like the defense is what kept y'all in the game. Honestly, we just try our hardest on defense, because defense at the end of the game wins the game. Even though we were trying on offense, defense does win the game, and we just try to play with our heart. So it really was tonight. Well, you definitely showed out. And, you know, I, the games I've been covering, I've yet to see you guys give up. As you, I don't think you guys can even spell quit, give up, or, you know what I mean? You guys always hustle. You guys always give it your best. Congratulations. Thank you. We're far from quitters over here. We love the game. We appreciate it so much. And I have gratitude to everyone that helped me, all my coaches and everything. I'm just proud to be here today. Now, you're a senior, right? Yes. Now, what, what's your plans for next year? Honestly, I just want to go to college. Um, I have a couple of choices in mind, Emmanuel, BSU, and just play my game there, hopefully. Well, good luck. Thank you. Yes. Good luck, young lady. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's go one last time. Boxable 51, the Lady Boxers 46. We will catch you next time. We'll bring you boys basketball as we start the tournament round. We'll catch you next time. Everyone have a fantastic night. Thank you.